Hello everybody, it's Robert Borges. Thank you for joining me in another vlog. And this uh, video is about my Tori Amos Little Earthquakes era CD collection. I'm going to go over the album and all of the singles that I have that were satellite releases generated from this album, uh, Little Earthquakes. So yeah, this is uh, Tori Amos' first album, or well, her first um, album that she acknowledged. She had another one out before this called Why Can't Tori Read? Everyone knows that now, by now, but this is the first album, her first uh, album that she was really proud of. Uh, this is the United States version of um, Little Earthquakes. Um, this particular version I got from Columbia House. I was a member of Columbia House at the time, uh, so it says manufactured by Columbia House under license there. That might be the only thing different than um, most of the, the versions that people have. Well, I don't know. I don't know how many copies Columbia House made, but so I don't know how rare this is. It probably isn't rare at all. But uh, I'm going to, uh, I think the, the most interesting part of this video though is going to be the singles. This here is the uh, Silent All These Years single, the rare version. Uh, this, one ha this one has Ode to the Banana King Part 1 and Song for Eric and Happy Phantom Live on it. This one um, sold out really quick. I think it's made in England. Let's see. The, uh, it's A7433 CDX by East West. I don't know if that's English or German. Um, and I don't know where it says where it's made. Um, but anyway, it folds out like so. Well, here's the outside, by the way, when it folds out. And here's the inside with all the lyrics for uh, Silent All These Years, Ode to the Banana King, Happy Phantom Live, and uh, Song for Eric. Ode to the Banana King Part 1, by the way. Uh, part 2 is Silent All, the Year all These Years. Now, I don't know what Part 3 is. Uh, evidently, there is a Part 3. But, um, yeah, and this particular CD was selling on eBay for a while for, I think, about $150 to $250. So there you go. There's that. There's also another version of Silent All These Years right here. This is also off of East West Records. This is uh, A7433 CD. Uh, this one has Upside Down, Me and a Gun, and Thoughts on it. There we go. It has a white spine. And you open it up. There's no booklet, it's just an insert. And now we have uh, the Winter CD single. This, is, uh, this was supposed to be a limited edition. But I think they actually press quite a few copies, and I don't know. It doesn't look like it's numbered. Oh yeah, it says limited edition CD5 maxi single. I think that it's manufactured in the United States. I don't think it's an import. But you open it up, and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the back. This has um, the pool, take to the sky, sweet dreams, and upside down. If you open it up, you see that there's an insert. It looks like it has all the lyrics handwritten on it in Tori's writing. And here we are with China. This too is imported. I don't know again if it's English or, Ger or German. It's East West Records. It's uh, A7531 CD, Tori Amos Sugar. This has Flying Dutchman and Humpty Dumpty and Sugar on it. Those are the B-sides. You open it up and there you go, there's the lyrics. And the China Cup. This is the back. And here we go with the Crucified CD single import. Um, this one, I can't remember, it has Here in My Head. Mary and Crucify the LP version, which actually is not the LP version. It's mislabeled. It's actually a different mix. Um, unless there's an a LP from overseas that has a different mixed version of the song Crucified on it, this actually does not have the LP version of Crucify. Um, 
So here you go, you open it up, that's what it looks like. And then we have the EP, the domestic EP uh, for Crucify. This one has uh, Angie, uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit, and Thank You on it. That's what the inside looks like. And then uh, I decided to throw this in, even though this came out of quite a while after the Little Earthquakes era. This is a Silent All These Years CD single that was released to help Tori Amos's um, Rain phone line, uh, and also I guess there's uh, most likely a website, the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, uh, which Tori founded. Uh, this CD single was created to help fund it. Um, it has the album version and a live version. I don't know where the live version oh, uh, was recorded. It might say somewhere here, but I don't see that. Um, there you go. You, you pull this out of the sleeve, and there's the CD. <clears throat> the tray comes all the way out if you, if you want. And then I also decided to throw in this as well, Tori's uh, piano collection, because I'm only going to show you one of the CDs in there because it, it relates to Little Earthquakes. It's a new version of Little Earthquakes, Disc A, that comes with the, the, the set, which is uh, Little Earthquakes Extended. It has alternate versions of songs from the Little Earthquakes album mixed in with uh, some songs that were originally B-sides, you go, this is what it looks like when you open it up. And here's the track listing in the back. You can see Tori's picture there. And then I also I decided to throw this in. This is a CD that I made way back in the day. Um, it was remix versions that somebody made on the internet. They had a website. This was back before. MySpace and Facebook and all that, people used to have their own like Geospace websites and Tori Amos, had, a bunch of her fans had a ton of fan websites and one of her fans made remix versions of the songs off of Little Earthquakes. I downloaded them all and burnt them, burned them on a CD. <clears throat> and I also downloaded some artwork that some Tori fans made and put them in this nice indigo sleeve. But, um, here you go. And then when you take the CD out, there's a photo in the back of Tori that I put in there. And then there's also a, a, a picture somebody made of Tori here on the back, playing her piano and wearing peacock feathers. I'm not sure if that comes in very well. My cat is being very noisy right now. But anyway, there you go. I don't think I opened up the Tori Amos uh, album, or did I? the booklet in case you haven't seen inside. Now I don't have the reissue. Uh, I know that Tori put out a reissue of this album not long ago. Um, I do, I do not have the reissued version of uh, Little Earthquakes. But there you go, there's my Little Earthquake CD collection. Um, the album plus uh, a lot of the peripheral CD singles that were released way back in the day with a lot of B-sides that wound up selling for a ton of money on eBay afterwards. And uh, from what I understand, Tori wasn't too happy about that. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of her more recent albums, I think beginning with Scarlet's Walk were a bit longer because Tori uh, wanted to try and put as many songs as possible on an album to prevent them from uh, becoming b-sides on singles that would sell out really quick and, and wind up selling for a fortune on eBay. From what I understand that's the logic behind her albums being longer or uh, becoming longer. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess that disturbed her. And then I wanted to also throw in the All These Years book. I guess I might as well. It came out a little while after Silent All These Years, but I think it kind of goes hand in hand with, with the album. I'm going to just throw it in. This is the um, Authorized Illustrated Biography. There's really cool pictures inside and really cool information about Tori as she was growing up. 
a lot of cool pictures. It's a good book. I'm not going to page through everything. Um, I'm just going to show some highlights, some quick highlights. But there you go, Tori Amos. Thank you for joining.